That's where it all happens, WLW Channel 5 in Cincinnati, and we are just south of Cincinnati today. LaRue Lanes, Jennifer. Highland Heights, Kentucky. 16 beautiful lanes here. As I said in the beginning, the Charlie Goldfuss is our gracious host this morning. Super guy. I can attest to that. Lanes 13 and 14, where the action begins, and as we've seen so often, Riga Kalfas opening the show with a great shot, leaving the stone seven. Now, Riga's in a little bit different position this week. Uh, <laughs> he has been our king in the past, got dethroned last week by Ron Pollard. So he's got to climb his way up the ladder this morning, but if anybody can do it, Riga can. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, Jennifer, he was uh, looking a little puzzled earlier in practice. There you see the seven pin, or as uh, one of my former workers uh, used to call it, the little weasel over there in the corner. <laughs> Cross lane for the spare should be no problem for Riga, and he takes it. Now we're going to look at Jerry Eckel, the creeper. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we, we befriend him with that title, and uh, we call his style unorthodox, but uh, uh, Riga obviously doesn't have to watch it. He, Jerry developed this style, and ladies and gentlemen, please, at home, you can do whatever feels comfortable for you as long as you repeat it. Oh, I completely Aaron shot that time, going uh, all the way across for the stone five. Uh, next week we will be qualifying at Holly Lanes. Today we will be qualifying at, well, let's see here, Dave. Where will we be qualifying <laughs> We're going to be in St. Bernard. We're gonna that's be right, Pinhouse, one of my favorite, favorite deep, centers. Deep Pinhouse, that's right. Uh, throwing a couple of good series there. We're going to put on the shoes and give it a whirl. And it's all brought to you here on Channel 5. You're watching Jerry Echo at this point picking up the 5-pin. And uh, Tommy Brenneman unavoidably detained, as you can detect in the opening, but uh, he'll be here shortly, my cohort in crime. Jerry Echo is a pipe fitter, 50 years old, and he is still knocking down a lot of lumber, Jennifer. You know, I believe, didn't he, isn't he, yeah, he had six 300 games, all bowled after the age of 43. And he started bowling at age seven. I really think that's a fascinating fact about Jerry. That is, and uh, that means there's hope for me yet. <laughs> me Jerry, <too. laughs> Jerry Echo Lane 13 leads the three, nine, 10. Not an easy spare by any stretch of the imagination, and Jerry Echo's getting off to a, uh, a, a difficult start against Riga Kalfas. And I'm sure Riga will jump right on that. We'll oh. see what happens here in this next uh, frame. I don't think Jerry just isn't quite comfortable yet. No, not at all. Looks good. It's about as close as you're going to come without making it. And now Riga takes the stand. Age 20, we've said that several times before. We can repeat uh, some of this information, I guess, in case some of you are new to our show. This is our fifth year on WLW and the 26th year of this fantastic bowling show and you the home viewers have made it as popular as it is we thank you for tuning in and we also thank our sponsors Hudipole been right with us all throughout the 26 years Lee's famous recipe our new sponsor with us this year oh yeah I'll tell you what I had a bucket of chicken and a, and a six pack again this week and it's watch out folks it's habit for me it is the, re <laughs> the replay will show you Riga Kalfas the primo that we've been watching. Board 11, now watch the ball come just roaring back. One, two pocket, completely filled up. No deflection here. Uh-uh, 10 pins in the pit. Every pin doing its job, Jennifer. The new wrath factor. Ooh, no, we're not gonna utilize that anymore. We're gonna give away the green today. A little later on, stay tuned to Channel 5 because you can watch the St. Patty's Day Parade. And Jennifer, you and I have, uh, uh, I guess, the honor of appearing in the parade personal interest with the Bowling Proprietors Association, a fine organization. There we go. The Riga train is on track and chugging away. And if Jerry Echo isn't careful, he could get run over. The, well, bru the brush he's holding, excuse me, Jennifer, the brush he's holding in his hand is to prep his shoe. Uh, the bottom of the shoes are made of leather and we bowl on wood, so the proper feel from your toes to your nose is very important. <laughs> Absolutely, I like that. Right lane, lane 14, needs to get on track, and he is completely lost. Looks like his timing is really off. He's, uh, as he lets go of the ball, it looks like he's falling forward or falling out of his stance. 
Well, you're right, Jennifer, and, and uh, timing is probably the most critical factor that we can talk about. It's something you have to work on, something you have to develop, and when it's wrong, you can't do anything else right. Jerry no, you Echo. sure can't. Yeah, he's got he's to regain it now and come on back with something. Of course, I don't know how many steps you think he takes here. Four or five, five steps. Well, that's what he says on his sheet, but I tell you, I've counted as many as seven from time to time. He's just really struggling. Yes, he is. And a lot of paper left, though, however. Lots of paper. A lot of paper left. You're absolutely right. And uh, hey, Todd Schiller's going to be uh, rolling in here. It's our day for uh, some of our prime people to be unavoidably detained. And when he gets here, he's going to be driving a brand new... Thunderbird. Ooh. Awesome automobile. 476, four, picking up the 47, open again. Well, Riga, he's going to be ready to jump right on that open now. A couple more strikes, and he can just about uh, not necessarily end the match, but momentum is going his way. Riga on lane 14, working on a double. He's got his favorite ball on today. And, and in case you're trying to adjust your sets at home, no, those pants really are kind of purple. Okay, <laughs> so purpley blue. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We watched it time and time again, week after week. The replay will show you perfection personified. The high backswing, board 11. Now watch the rotation of this ball. One, two pocket. It's out of here. That's the head pin going off the lane last, and that's the nine. And the score is going to show you that this game is well in hand. Riga Kaufus with the triple gives him 50 in the second double working. Jerry Eckel is open twice talked about timing before you can see how good Riga's timing is he's so solid at the line there you're right at the bottom of the swing just lifts up so powerfully through the shot Jennifer you're absolutely right a uh, lot of paper left indeed but we've got a man that's struggling and we've got a man that's doing this just ripping the bottom out of the ball there we go again now left hand side of your screen watch the seven pin there you go, it's out of there early, and then the right-hand side, the 10-pin goes out a little late, but it's a great shot. It's close. All right, Jerry yeah. gets on track there. Riga uh, was our match game champion in 87. Uh, Jerry, does he have, he's got six 300 games, as I said before, all bowled after the age of 43. Yeah, I mentioned in the opening, too, a little vested interest here several years ago. As a matter of fact, it was a very first show I ever made as a contestant. Jerry and I bowled on this pair of lanes. Uh, hammer and tongue, we went at it for a while. And that particular day, he came out on top. And he's got to just throw chicken tracks from here on out if he wants a shot at Riga. Going right straight through the heart You again. bowled here against oh, yeah. him on yeah, the same the pair? same pair. You're kidding me. It was like 15 years ago. <laughs> well, maybe it was only uh, five. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> The well, the Schiller Mobile has arrived. Got a beautiful Thunderbird. Hey, uh, the, the top of the morning to you. Ford Thunderbird, valued at sixteen thousand three hundred seventy-one dollars, ready to be given away in the event of a three hundred game this morning. And it's got lots of options. Lots of stuff on it. <laughs> lots of stuff. I, th I think. Lots of toys. I think, too, uh, Tom and Todd told me that uh, if they uh, do have the opportunity to give it away, it will be complete with a, uh, a bucket of chicken and a six-pack hey. of what we all have come to know is the best beer in the world, the pole. Of course, you like your Bach beer. I'm going to stick to this, my little king. This time of year. Look, look at this. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Jennifer, we... Uh, uh, we can't say enough about Riga Kaufus. You know, he's, like you said, he was our match game champion. Uh, started bowling at age eight. He's got a couple of 300s. You are looking at the score, and you're looking at a lopsided match as of this point. 74, Jerry Echo in the fifth. Riga Kaufus is stringing him, and he looks good again. Yes, he does. And he's got lots of money behind him from these past, what was it, six weeks he was our king? Yeah, six continuous weeks. And he, the way he's looking today, he's going to be ready to, to start back on track to six more. It's close. Ah, the ball did not roll off that time. 
didn't quite catch it at the bottom of the swing and on the replay we could probably be able to see the ball not going into roll now let's look okay he got it wider he was been hitting board 11 that time he hit 10 now see right there where it normally just charges back and drives through it deflects leaving the three five six nine the right hander's bucket the chicken bucket the, chicken bucket. <laughs> the least this famous recipe in this particular case now this is not an easy spare, but Riga is pretty accurate. He wants to put the ball between the three and the five pin. Just like that. Riga uh, then, well, assuming that he's gonna win here, uh, he will go on to meet Bob Schomer in the next match. Game two, we're gonna be looking forward to the golden ball contest. We're gonna try to give away $800 this, this is week. really getting exciting, <laughs> isn't it? $800. Jerry's just totally lost. Uh, I'd hate to say it, but the party looks like it's over. When it's not your day, you just can't pull it together sometimes. Jennifer, you've been there. Oh, I know. Too many times. Too many times. Well, he'll shake this one off to experience. I'm sure we'll see him back. I think he's made it uh, almost every year for the last 20 years, as you watch him pick up the spare. He's been... Uh, Qualifying in the King qualifiers for 20 years. He's got 11 and 4 record, 11 wins, 4 losses. That's, not, that That's was a good a, record. Boy, I'll if tell that you. was a pitcher, he'd be making a lot of money <laughs> oh, right yeah, now. A million. Favorite hobbies? Uh, he likes to do a little woodworking in the basement, uh, a little whittling, a little, little lathe making. I think he makes some furniture too. Gary's a talented man, he's a talented bowler. Just not to be today, Riga Kalfas is hot. He is hot. No question about it. On a roll right now. About as hot as those pants he's wearing. Absolutely. Not, I tell you. I think he's changing his luck. In the past, he's hit on his lucky red pants for six weeks in a row. Now he lost. He's going to change his little strategy there. Well, that's a, I guess sounds, we can go with that. That sounds good to sounds me. Sounds as good as any. <laughs> Riga Kalfas. Lane 14 came off the string with a bucket. Let's see if he gets back on the track. And so often when we see a bowler go wide on a shot, the next shot's going to go a little high, but watch it on the replay. We're going to trip out the six and the four. Those are the two pins to the uh, second second pins from each side of your screen. Now watch it here. It's going to cut sharply. That's a hip pin going straight back. Three pin to the right wall, two pin to the left wall. Now watch this action. Boom, boom, out of here. A couple of cross body blocks. When you got good roll on the ball, as Riga does, you can carry that stuff. I'll tell you, it's a true ta talent to trip out the six for the left-hander or the four for the right-hander. Exactly. When you're tripping that all day, you're doing well. You betcha. And did he trust that <laughs> ball? <laughs> Holy smokes. He <laughs> Red C strike. Let's see it on the split screen. We can show the reaction of the ball and the ball. The Riga Kalfas looks great. Gives it a little extra area, a little more turn. Does he like it? You bet he does. Yeah, a little, little reaction. Gary's not going to foul out of here without showing us what exactly he is made of. He can strike, I'll tell you. Just having a bad day. Yeah, let's, yeah I guess he can strike. He qualified for the show, shooting 715 last week here at LaRue Lanes. Riga shooting 718. And uh, Ralph Goyette losing in the roll-off uh, prior to our TV coverage. Shooting 195 for Mr. Echo to 190. 190 was a loser today, and Jerry Echo is still lost. But Tommy's not lost. Here he is. <laughs> just, just hit the door, and he'll be joining us uh, in game two. We'll be looking at the Golden Ball contest next, won't we, Dave? That's right. We're going to uh, we'll be coming right back to that. Echo marking in the 10th frame. A lot of pride in these bowlers. Even if you're out of the match, you, you know, you just like to finish and give a creditable showing. If he strikes, it'll give him 180. Riga Kalfas, without throwing a ball, already has 196. Qualifying today will be going on at Penthouse in St. Bernard, as we said before. Next week we'll be coming uh, from Penhouse, but we will be qualifying at Holly Lanes next week. Saturday and Sunday starting at 9 a.m. Both, both days. Shifts every hour and a half. 
We'd Houston. like to see some new faces out there with David Newrath and myself. All right. There you go. All right. Man, so, what do you think here? Are we going to make a prediction for next game? Uh, Are we not going to touch it? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay out of it this time. Okay. <laughs> Riga, if he strikes on the next ball in the 10th, will finish out with 266. And he will go on to meet Bob Schumer, 23 years of age, from Cincinnati. Or Cincinnati, Cincinnati depending on which side of town you're or from. Or how right? German you are, or something like that. Or how Irish. <laughs> All right, the Riga train, pumped up, full boilers, headed south. This man is going to be tough today. And our king, of course, is Ron Pollard, who dethroned Riga last week. Gee, Jen, you think he'd like to make it to that last match? Oh, you uh, betcha. Absolutely right. Riga Kalfas, 266 with a strike on this ball. Jerry Echo, 180. Yeah, how about 263? Not all bad. Great match, a congratulatory. And we are going to go to the Golden Ball Contest. So don't get up yet. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that part of the show where we get to give away some extra money. Split the pot with a home contestant. This is it, the BPA Golden Ball Contest. And Kathy, we're going to choose a couple of players, one from the audience and again one from the homeless. Uh, what do we got here? What's going on? Well, I'll choose them. <laughs> okay, let me explain to you how we're going to work this, of course. The studio contestant will come down and try to knock down 10 pins. Should they do that, they're going to split $800 this week with a home contestant. They get nine pins. We're going to give away nine free games of bowling and a Bicentennial T-shirt. Can't forget that on this Bicentennial year. Kathy, who we've got planned today? Our home viewer is an A.R. Miller from Cincinnati, Ohio. And our TV viewer is Mike Hagee. Mike Hagee, come on down. <laughs> well, Mike's going to attempt to take the uh, 14K ball and... Uh, Knock down as many as you can, Mike. We're going to get out of your way here. Wish you a lot of luck. $800. Be nice to have on St. Patrick's Day, can't it? Yeah. Want to get a green suit? Look out. Look, oh! mix it up. Oh, hey, Mike, come on over here. Congratulations. Way to go. We're going to get that to you. Now, remember everybody, if you want to become a home viewer and a contestant in this, write to the BPA Golden Ball Contest, 1821 Summit Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45237. Ah, uh, there you go. Two beauties, both with vested interest in today. One, one brother-sister combination.